Chew on This is presented by TotalFishing.com. Let's go. All right, here we go. Next cast. I think I'm going to get one. If you guys look out, well, actually, I already got a fish, but you look out, you see these birds. And you see those birds out there running through. Well, that gave me an idea that, hey, there's probably some good fish over here in this area. And sure enough, we got over here, and these ladyfish are everywhere. Now I think I can start getting them next to the boat. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Watch, watch the line. And the way you do this is... Uh, now look, I'm not even making casts anymore. I'm just dropping it right next to the side. Now if you watch the end of the ratchet, look. <laughs> so these fish like to hit it on the drop. So I'm right, have the bait right next to the boat and I just drop it down and they like to hit it whenever it's falling. Like whenever I raise it, they usually don't hit. But on the drop, if I keep a tight line whenever I drop the bait down, that's when they hit it. So I raise it up and drop it down. No, oh, there we go, got another hit, got another hit. They're busting me up, but I'm not getting them. And that's what's great about these fish, because they're really fast, and they like, they're aggressive. They're really one of my favorite fish to catch, because we can go out, and we can take people out and catch them. Look at that. See, like I said, you just drop it down, and now you see how I'm pulling them out of the water, and I'm letting, the, uh, letting them shake off the hook? So we're just having a fun time here. Or at least I'm having fun, you guys are getting to watch. And my camera guy, Rick, is sitting there going, man, I wish I could be fishing. Uh-oh. Here we go. Watch this, you guys. I'll bring them up. If you look down in the water, you might be able to see them. Yeah, they're a little bit deeper. But watch, I'm going to get one right here. Look, they're hitting it. If you watch it, it might... Ah! <laughs> look at that big one. Wow. <laughs> and believe it or not, we've got a... We've got an actual ladies fishing tournament. It's a lady fish tournament coming up called the Chicks and Sticks Tournament. And uh, it's for catching lady fish. Guys aren't allowed to fish. They're allowed to be on the boat, but they're not allowed to fish. So uh, the girls have to catch their own fish and do that type of stuff. And uh, I think we found a pretty good spot for them. Our ladies might do all right. And the way the tournament works is, is it's a bucket of lady fish and they get to fill that bucket up with 10 ladyfish. And whoever has the heaviest bucket of ladyfish wins, wins the tournament, whatever group of ladies has the heaviest bucket of ladyfish. And we're getting some pretty big ones. We've had some small ones, but we've also got some huge ones on. And I tell you what, if, uh, if all you gotta do is drop it here on the side of the boat like this and catch them, <laughs> it is awesome. And look, there's no trick photography, there's nothing crazy going on, and we're legitimately dropping it right next to the boat, on a bare hook, mind you. No bait on it. It actually works pretty good, it's a pretty cool system. But you can use different things, you can use zoom jerk baits, you can use, uh, you can use exude jerk baits, you can use uh, gotcha jig bodies. My favorite's probably the root beer one. Look, I already got another one. Wow, look how hard this one's pulling. Man, this is pulling hard. Oh, check this out. This is funny. Now, you guys won't believe this. We catch a saltwater catfish on a bear jig head. Now, tell me that's not crazy. A saltwater catfish. Well, these are, just, these are the only things I know that are slimier than ladyfish, so I don't think I'm touching this guy. We're going to take the hook out, but... uh. I think that's pretty cool. So if you ever wonder if a uh, catfish we need a bear hook, you just got to see it. Look, bear hook. Look at that. And here's what we're using. Today we're using a uh, a quarter ounce jig head. You can get them at totalfishing.com. Just check out the jig section underneath the lure section, and uh, it works great. Now if you look here. This particular leader we're using, we're using a 30 pound fluorocarbon. We've got some suffix fluorocarbon leader, and I'm using, I like 20 pound test suffix, but I also use uh, Power Pro. I've used Strin. I like the braided lines, they seem to work really well. I don't have problems with line memory, I don't have problems with tangling. And believe it or not, this, 
This particular line on this reel has probably been on here for maybe two years. I fish it all the time. It lasts forever, and we can catch fish after fish on it. So check out jig heads. This is a quarter ounce. This is green. I use red a lot. You can use pink. So maybe the girls during the Chicks and Sticks tournament will be able to use pink ones and catch them. So watch this. I'm going to drop it right back over, and let's see if we can catch some more. <laughs> Look at that. Coming out of the water. Now, there's a couple of different ways to catch these ladyfish. Right now, you see me, I'm kind of putting it on them. Whenever I put it on the ladyfish and you bring them in real quick like I just did, they have a tendency to jump to throw your hook because you're letting them come out of the water and then they're shaking their uh, heads. And they're good at shaking these jigs out. And since I'm not trying to keep them, that's okay. But if I was trying to keep them, I'm fishing these completely the wrong way. And right now, I'm getting a bite. I got like 30 bites. Look, I'm still getting the bites. All right, watch this. Oh, you got it. <laughs> Check it out. Here we go. Oh, what you docking for, cameraman? <laughs> All right, you guys, check this out. If you look right down in the water, I think we're going to get one. Come on. All right, didn't work that time, but it's going to. Okay, now the proper way to catch these whenever you want to bring them in is you throw your bait out and you want to keep your rod tip low. You don't want to let them get up high. All right, so I'm already getting one right now. Got him. Now, if you look at my rod tip, I'm keeping it low to the water because I don't want this ladyfish to jump out of the water. And if I keep it low, then it won't shake its head. And I reel pretty much as fast as I can. Now, once I got it in, what I'll do is, is Watch, let me show you here. I'm gonna take the well, look in the well. I flip everything back and I flip the well open. And now, now look at the rod, look at the fish. And what I do is I flip it right into the well like this. Sometimes you miss though. <laughs> sometimes you miss. Ah, oh, and then sometimes you hook your own net and then it goes terribly wrong. And then you get, see there's all that poo I was telling you guys about. Ladyfish will make a nasty mess in your boat. But you know what? It's all worth it because we're having a good time catching these guys. So I don't mind. And uh, later on, if I'm fishing this guy using it for bait, well, I think it works out pretty good for me. All right, here we go. We're going to get this back in here. As you can see, we already caught a few other ladyfish, and we got some uh, white bait and some thread fin in there. And uh, let me try that again. <laughs> TotalFishing.com. Let's, Let's go. go.